a lot of guys ask me since they know I've done a crayfish study in college and my background's on fisheries biology is kind of what the crayfish do this time of year and you know you start to especially once the water cools off you know you you tend to know the fish start holding around rock and you, a lot of people don't know why well once that the water starts to cool kind of coincides with crayfish starting to move and you get in these areas naturally the bait will start to migrate so it's just kind of mother nature's way of taking care of the bass this time of year they're already starting to develop eggs for next spring so when you're looking at the crayfish per se and fish in hard areas you know just like your your bluegill and your crayfish typically are are greener color this time of year and when you get more darker colors a darker colored water they tend to be more brown so <clears throat> you know a lot of times like a brown brown and black jig can be real good in muddy water um, but you know coming off of this summertime months you get a lot of grass growth and that the red that shows up in crayfish is actually comes from the grass growth when they're eating a little microscopic organism organisms off the uh, grass little zooplankton they'll accidentally ingest the grass well the grass itself is full of vitamin a and the uh, the claws whether they're red or blue are uh, an account of the vitamin a intake they have so if they're deficient they'll turn blue well if they're they're plentiful, they'll turn red. If it's kind of in between, it'll just be a neutral green color. So a lot of the crayfish are, you know, have a dark green body, you know, green pumpkin or, uh, you know, with, with red claws. So, you know, something like green pumpkin, red flake is a good color this time of year. But as the year transitions and a lot of this grass starts to die off, you'll see a, a transition into like a blue phase and the water typically will get a little darker in some of these areas. We get the fall rains and stuff like that. So that's where brown and blues and black and blues start to play a role. So, you know, this time of year on a sunny day, I always like a little bit of, you know, uh, glitter. I just use straight green pumpkin. This is uh, one of the colors they have, green pumpkin with silver flake. I just like it on sunny days uh, when they're shallow, just kind of a neutral in between, kind of as they're going from the summer pattern to a fall pattern. It's a good color to, to choose. I, I always personally like a little bit of flake in there, especially on a sunny day. So that's why I settled with this color today, just a green pumpkin, uh, silver flake. Another color would probably be good is maybe green pumpkin, red flake uh, this time of year in August. And once uh, once September, end of September, October rolls around, maybe like a, a green pumpkin, blue laminate, uh, or even a black and blue laminate would work well. So that's kind of the rundown of crayfish, just kind of match the watercolor. That's usually the, the base body. And then just think about where you are in time of year as far as putting some red or blue or uh, even silver glitter in with the, the, the base color of it. Check us out at wired2fish.com.